Hey guys, welcome back to Quick Bits. Today we're going to be talking about Action Tiles and their recent update. If you haven't checked out my previous video about the Action Tiles update, you can check that out up here and down in the video description below. But I had a lot of people asking me after that video how I got my personal images as the background panel. And I didn't really talk about how I got personal images, I just kind of showed that you can add a URL or use their stock images. As you can see from this panel here, it is using a stock image that they offer. But like you saw in the previous video or like this panel here, you can see that I used a personal image. So in this quick bit video, we are going to be going over that. So let's get started. What's up guys, it's Drew from Taylor Tech and on this channel we do smart home tech reviews, installations, and DIY guides. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any time, check out the video description down below for important links, show notes, and product links for everything mentioned in this video. So yeah, like I said, I've had a lot of people asking me how I got my personal images as the background on my panel. And as you can see on this one, I'm using one of the stock images that Action Tiles offers. It is a nice mountainscape background, but if you're like me, I prefer to use my own personalized images. And I mostly use Google Photos because I have a Pixel device and it's just easier for me. But this method may or may not work for other image hosting sites. So to start things off, you will need to upload all the photos you want to use for this to Google Drive or Google Photos. It all kind of meshes together. But just upload onto there. I think everyone has 15 gigs free, so that shouldn't be an issue for images. The next thing you will need to do is use a computer, which I'm going to be using here. You don't need to use a computer. I don't think you could use a smartphone, but I prefer using a computer for a lot of this kind of things. It's just easier. Okay, so once you have the appropriate image in a folder or an album and you have it up on your screen here, you can see this is the one I'm using here. Uh, you just simply click on it and it will take you a little bit bigger screen, but this is not a .jpg format, as you can see from the URL up here. You do need to go a few steps further and copy the link or copy image address. And then I like to open a new tab and paste it here. And as you can see at the end of this URL, it is still not a .jpg, so Action Tiles can still not recognize it yet. So we need to add question mark .jpg. And now if we go ahead and copy this entire address and paste it into yet another tab, or I guess we could use that same tab, but whatever. Paste it here. Now it's just a simple image. It's not connected to your Google Photos account anymore. It's just using the Google user content URL, which is basically just the actual hosting of the image. So from here, you would think you would be able to copy this straight into, or paste this straight into the theme builder but unfortunately it's too long of a URL. It is ridiculously long. You can see the end of our URL here is not the .jpg that we needed. So you need to shorten that URL. And I like to use a URL shortener like bit.ly or you could use any of them really. And paste the long URL here. Wait a second and the short one will come up. We'll go ahead and copy that and then we'll paste that finally into the theme builder image URL and just like that our image is there so this works with probably any image hosting site I would imagine but I can't guarantee you this is just how it is done with Google Photos so that's all I had for this quick bit video hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like down below and consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next one